and welcome back everyone to Natal Development and today I'll be going over how to make a revenge um AI which is like an enemy that is going to basically follow you around and as soon as you shoot it it's gonna kill you and I will show you um the same one I made for my game last time and we're gonna see how cool it is so here we go and as you can see the game starts to load and um right here we start playing it and as you can see this robot is chasing me around but he's not shooting me right He's bumping into me. You can make that when he hits you. It like kills you or something takes damage. And as soon as you start shooting at it, it starts shooting back at you. As you can see, as soon as I start shooting, it starts shooting. And I could kill it, but it could kill me. And uh, we're going to make this based off our last gun tutorial, which is actually um, going to explains how this whole um, gun system works. And once you kill them, he just disappears, which is pretty cool. And we're actually going to make this right now. And um, we're going to start off by going like into our project, into our game that uh, is, our, is on our playlist on how to make a FPS game in this corner. I'm going to link it right here in this corner. And here we go. And we're going to start off by um, making our ground a little bit bigger because, well, yeah, you just want some more space to work with. You, I will be making free maps just creating for you guys like in a few of our videos you can see on our page that like, we give away uh, guns and grappling gun models. I'm going to give away a map probably soon. You can import your own model for this enemy but I'm just going to start off with a simple um, capsule because that's what my player is. That's what I'm going to make the enemy. There we have a capsule and how to make this into an enemy. So you're going to have to add a few components to it. You're gonna actually start off with a rigid body as you can see it has a castle collider and stuff so we're just going to add a rigid body this one and it's added and we're going to add a nav mesh agent this one right here that's it we actually need to add this because um our character is going to be moving around he needs to know where the ground is and everything and uh, now that we have all of these stuff, we can start adding our scripts and all of our scripts are going to be linked in the description of this video. You can ask them on our Discord channel, which is also linked below this video, or in our Discord channel, in um, probably somewhere in, I'm gonna probably post in general tutorials, but you will get it in the below this video description you're gonna have to press on two links the enemy brain and the ai health so um we're gonna start off with the enemy brain we're gonna just click on it and it's gonna take you again those two links are gonna be in the description of this video or in our discord server so um here this is the enemy brain script and what this basically does it it tells um the distances where you, you where your enemy is gonna attack you from you can mod those later but i'm gonna tickle deeper that one down later as you can see right here this is an enemy brain script name so you want to just go ahead and copy this go into your game add component we're gonna just paste this right into here so you're gonna go ahead press paste add and right here press new script and add create an add and now you're going to double click this and it's gonna put you right here into this little um whatever welcome thing you're gonna just delete that you don't want that now in your actual mm -hmm. the script you're gonna copy the whole thing and be careful this down there you might not notice it you want to copy that too you're just gonna copy go into your whatever visual studio and just go ahead and paste this right into here that's it now it's pasted you're gonna press near control c or you can press file and save all that's it it's saved now it's green you're gonna go back into your game it's gonna quickly reload script assemblies and uh, that's it it uploaded you're gonna we're gonna put this on later we're gonna add another script and the other script is the ai health which is basically going to be doing the all the health and shooting stuff and actually this one just does the health for the enemy and again this is an ai health so you're gonna go ahead copy the name of it now go into your game and add component the same thing you're just gonna paste this in here and create an add 
By the way, when I say paste, I just use Control V, so it's fast. So if you guys don't see me actually like press my left button, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Right here, now we are in our um, it should have loaded in. You have this again, double click, get rid of this all stuff. Now you're gonna go back into the actual script, copy the whole entire thing. I'm gonna copy it again. I use Control C, so if you guys don't see me actually like press copy don't worry you actually have to copy it now go back into your game I mean actually back into your code paste it in I, I'm gonna press just control save you can just go file and save all but whatever and go back into your game it reloads and right here it says the health bar isn't present that's because we're actually going to be adding a health bar to your player which is not present yet so don't worry about this for now just leave it like it is um, we're gonna get rid of that later. Now, what you're gonna do is actually going to add a few more things. So, actually, we're gonna get rid of this red feature and add the health bar right away. So, again, this is gonna be linked below this video in the description, or you can just use it in our Discord general tutorial section if you can find it. Now, we're just going to click this, and once again, it's gonna take us to the Google Drive file. That all you have to do to it is just download it just press this right here you click it and it downloads right into your um, folder for downloads you're gonna have this up here I have two of them because I already did it twice um, so we're going to close this for now go into our game as you can see it's red we're gonna go to files downloads take this and just drag it into your assets um, we're going to close this and as you can see it imports the canvas feature the, the health bar for this thing and the health bar script you're going to just press import it imports real quick and right here you should see this canvas one little, bot, little square thing you're going to go ahead and drag this onto your capsule and it should create this as you can see right here our capsule now has a health bar right above it and um pretty cool now we are going to as you can see now it says you're missing the keep score feature and the keep score feature is going to be in your gun script and we're going to fix this at probably like the very very end so now in we're gonna fix your capsule oh I'm actually gonna rename this to in AI just so I know that this is the enemy right now we're gonna go into your AI and you should have the player obviously player is your AI system it's that simple distance basically what this means is that um how far from it you have to get in order for it to see you I'm gonna set it to 10 and just leave it at that point is angered you don't have to press that Agent is your NAF mash agent. You're gonna take this, drag it into there. That's good. AA health is going to be used a little bit later as soon as we get our gun working. Now we're going to add our gun. And in order to add your gun, you're actually going to neither go below this into the description or go into our Discord server, which I'm using for this tutorial. And you're going to go to AI shooting system, press this, and go ahead, it'll take you to the Google Drive file again, again, Google like, scans it all, it's all safe, it's all cool, I did it. Now you're going to press download, and I actually did make all of these scripts, these are assemblies from my um, game, the project 2, if you know it, you know it. Now when you download it, you're going to go back into your game, right here, open up your files, download, and just drag the top one and I have so much ready because I've been remaking this tutorial a few times you know so now this is the three AR blend is basically the 3d model for the gun the one I gave away we're gonna use it for our enemy as well the AI gun script and the shoe bullets and we're actually going to import it it's gonna take a few seconds and that's it it's done you should see this AI camera now AI camera is um, the whole component that you need to add so you're gonna take this and just drag it into our AI that's it right here and it should you should have a gun now this box looks like a camera 
it should say AR1, canvas and the gun tip, canvas should have a muzzle flash and the ammo counter. This basically just says how much ammo it has for this guy. You can you can actually get rid of the ammo counter, I'm not going to leave it in. Oh, important thing, very very important, pay attention, I kind of messed up right here. F for your player, right, for your enemy brain, for you it should say AI. Take the player, drag it in to where it says player. Player is you, not the AI, so switch it up. I made a mistake, my bad. Oh, actually, for the health bar, you're just going to go to your canvas and literally take the health bar and drag it into here. Now your health bar is here. Max health, current health is zero. You want to leave it at that. Distance here, 10. Just copy if this is not on your thing already. Now, what do we do with our AR? As you can see right here, there's... It basically tells you that um, right here you're missing a type namespace enemy why is it saying that for your um robot is basically who's the enemy of the robot that is you what does that mean that our player also needs to get a health bar or like whatever health and um we're just going to add that right into here and once again you're just going to go down to our discord or below this video to see this script right here and right here you can see the enemy script so you're gonna go press enemy once again the google document let me just get rid of that you're gonna see this you're gonna go ahead select the enemy name and you're gonna press copy go back into your game actually gonna go into your player and right here under your player add component paste an enemy press new script and add and create an ad and now you're gonna see this you're gonna go double click this get rid of all of this and copy this whole script once here copy paste that in there and save this file go back into the game it should complete this and nothing's gonna show up here because we have a few things that to get rid of see right here it says keep score you're gonna double click this and is you're gonna see the enemy script you're gonna go to the line 29 it says keep score and put two of these like I don't know what they're called but little lines save this and when you go out it should reload script assembly and right here it says enemy you're just going to see a bunch of lines now who is player player is the person who's shooting at the player i think or no actually it's um you know who it is it is going to be oh yeah the player is actually your player so here you put player for your own player and now respawn points. Respawn points is something you're gonna do later. This is basically when your player dies, it's gonna he's gonna respawn to a certain location. We actually don't need this at the moment, so we're not gonna touch it. And the health bar is you can actually just take the health bar um that we imported for enemy, which is I think this one. You're gonna go take this and just shove it right back into your player. And there should be a health bar right above him. You can move it in front so you can actually see it yourself. But I'm not going to do that right now. So we're going to go to our player. Take health bar. And, oh, sorry. Player. And drag it in where it says health bar. This into the health bar. That's it. That That's done. Now in our AI, you should see... In the AR, you should see um, these two scripts open up. And you're gonna be with the AI gun and the uh, gun shoot bullets. And I'm actually going to fill these out and see you then. And now I actually got done filling them out. And as you can see, for your player on the AI gun, you're going to put AI. Um, you're going to put AI, so you can just go ahead and just drag it in there. AI. Now for the nav mesh agent, you're gonna press this and select AI. It should automatically turn this on just like in this one where it's going to ask you for the player rigid body you're just going to go here and press on ai twice and it's going to add ai rigid body the same for here right now distance you can just leave this at zero if you don't have these just copy whatever i wrote 
this is good for FPS cam we should say AI camera then for the impact effect this is really important for the impact effect as you can see but if you followed all of our tutorials and you're making a game with this you will have this particle system effect you can actually go back to our videos if you want this but it's basically just the shoot effect that we made a few videos ago now you're gonna just take the particle system effect and drag it into here and you don't actually need to change any of these if you want the gun to stay right right where it is and i won't so you just want to leave how it is if something is different copy whatever i did now here this is the gun shoot bullets basically what this does is shoots out like a object so you can see when the actual bullet's flying now for bullet you're gonna go down again near near or below this video or into our discord server here press this google drive file again download and this video is very long, it was hard to record, so please support the channel by liking and following the video and telling friends about it. Because I don't really make money off of this, I'm just making this for fun for you guys. And now that you actually got downloading the, the bullet, thanks for watching by, by the way. Now you're gonna go to your files, oh, I'm sorry, your files. And in your downloads, you should see something like this named bullet. You're gonna take bullet drag it right into there import and you should see this little sphere thing now you actually just go and go ahead shove it somewhere in here and basically all it is is just a ball that i put fire on you actually can see right now if the game starts you'll see fire on it drag it under the map so you actually can't see it as you can see like just make it invisible so it's like somewhere down there you don't want it in the frame is just there now in your AR you're just going to take this sphere you can name it bullet whatever take the sphere this little thing and where it says bullet you're gonna go ahead and take this and shove it in here so this is basically going to be flying out of our gun every time our um, enemy shoots at us now shoot force is 300 this is how fast it will fly um, this is time between shots that you don't have to do any of this because your enemy doesn't need to reload and magazine size is 50. basically you want to probably make this infinite i don't know how to do that so i'll just do something like this because i don't want my um enemy to run out of bullets or you can make him out of reload if you want that you can find a few of those um, videos on YouTube, but you can make auto reload. So I'm just going to leave that max size, whatever. You just want to make it max. Basically, so our enemy doesn't run out of ammo again. So, um, a bullet per tap, whatever. Don't touch any of this. This should, I mean, it should look the same as mine right now. Um, recoil force. You don't, need, you don't need this for this. Now that this is done, as you can see, this is all filled out. We're going to finally start finishing our whole enemy. So, in order to finish, we actually want to tell our enemy where he can walk or whatever it can walk. So now, um, we're going to go to Window, AI right here, Navigation. And as you can see, it's going to open this little navigation thing right here. You're going to press Bake. And you can actually press clear or whatever back out of it. And I'm going to go ahead and press bake, right? No, actually, we're going to go to our floor, inspector floor. So your ground, right? And you're going to set it to static. That's really, really important, static. Navigation, you're going to go here, clear, and now press bake. And it should just light up blue basically everything that's blue that's where your enemy can walk and uh, for our last steps we're gonna go inspector and in your ai or whatever you call them in the rigid body you're gonna open this up and it's, it might look like this for you you're gonna open it up constraints now we're gonna freeze um all the bottom ones i'm pretty sure so you don't want to rotate and now we're going to actually play it and see how it looks in three two one go 
and our game is starting up and the quality might have dropped just because I'm doing it on a laptop and I don't want my laptop to explode as you can see this enemy is just following us around and keeps trying to push us off right this is all pretty cool and by the way it, it won't shoot you until you start shooting you shoot it shoots at you as you can see it shoots these little effects you can actually if you shoot you can see it fly out of its barrel now how do you um, make a killable and it be able to kill you and that's actually really really simple because if you followed our gun tutorial you have to fix one thing in it so you're gonna go back to your player right here and if it's closed like this you're gonna open it up find its AR the players AR go press on the gun controller and you're gonna be at the very top here and you're gonna actually scroll the way down as you remember, maybe you remember, maybe you don't from our last gun tutorial. We got rid of these two, we didn't get rid of them, we just marked them off. The enemy target, whatever, hit damage, and our AI target hit damage. Now we're actually going to, as you can see, these two signs right here. I'm gonna press and just delete only the signs, and it should just all align perfectly and make lines. We're gonna press control save. Now, if we go back to our game it's gonna reload script assemblies and you're actually going to go right back into the game here and now if you start that up if you shoot him as you can see it takes damage when you kill the the AI dies and it disappears and yeah that's pretty cool now how do we make this look good and so that our AI can, our AI can kill us that's also pretty simple. All you have to do is just go into the AI now, into the AI's AR, and quickly we're gonna uh, open it up, the AI gun, open it up. And um, somewhere down here, as you can see, it already has an enemy script to it. So it is taking damage, you just can't see it. Well, how do we tell if we're getting damaged now we can do it very simply in our own player which is our player here let me see if i can just oh i actually can't health bar we're going to just drag it forward this seems good enough we're just going to check by going into our player to the camera as you can see right here this is not really good because it's kind of blocking a lot of you so i'm also going to move it a little bit to the side um, let's see how that turns out. And, yeah, just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm gonna leave it like that. And, we're actually gonna start up the game. So, the game starts up. And, as you can see, the bar's up here. It's not gonna go anywhere. And, um, let me just back off and miss him. Oh, it's actually behind us when I fix that. As you can see, I'm getting damaged. Now, to fix this from happening, it's really simple. I actually kind of messed up it's kind of stupid it's gonna take the canvas right here and just drag it right back into the camera that's it it should now perfectly work when you run it that's it now it's stuck to your screen and as you can see it's on you when you get shot as you can see the damage starts doing let's just do a quick wall run right here boom oh 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 i actually fell off but that's it basically you're done now you can kill the ai and it's gonna disappear and let's see what happens if i die actually if i die oh i actually can't die because we did not set the in the what's it called it, there's no respawn point basically um our and our health script is set that as soon as you get killed you're gonna respawn somewhere and we're actually going to do that in the next video that's going to be coming out sometime next week, probably somewhere around Saturday or Sunday. If you enjoyed this tutorial, it was pretty nice. We made a AI that can run around, shoot us and kill us. We're actually going to um, add something to it really quick in the assets. We're going to add a material. Just going to press create. Um, here, material. And we're going to, let's say, make it, what color do you guys like? I like red for enemies, so I'm going to take red. 
and just drag it around to our, en our enemy right here and our enemy is now ready so now what we have made is a revenge AR that follows you tries to hit you if you start shooting at it it shoots back and it will um, damage you until you will lose your health and probably die and respawn somewhere we're gonna actually make in the next video this was a really long video but I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned a lot of new stuff as you know you want you should follow us on discord if you have any questions or problems it's all gonna be posted in there it's gonna be linked below this video and everything you saw all of those assets can either be found there discord or again below this video which is really nice um, yeah, it was a fun time. I hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe for more. See you again.